So here on the right, I have my Ubuntu guest. And if I open the disks utility and choose its hard disk, you can see partition 3, which is the partition where Linux resides. And you can see that currently we have 4.2 gigabytes free. We can also use a tool like the disk usage analyzer. And you can see 4.2 gigabytes available from here as well. Let's now say that I want to enlarge my disk, so I have more available disk space. So first, let's turn off the virtual machine. And in the virtual box manager, I'm going to choose it from the list. And it was this one, the last one. Now, if we take a look at the storage category, we can see over here the name of the disk that's being used by this machine. And take notice of this name, Ubuntu 22.04 and large disk. It's important to use this name as we're going to use it in a second. Let's now open the file menu and choose virtual media manager. Here we're going to look for the disk that's used by our virtual machine. So as we said, it's this name and here it is on the list. Now that I chose the correct disk, I can resize it. And let's say that instead of 15 gigabytes that it has right now, I want to make it 25. And let's click on Apply. And let's close the Media Manager. And let's try to start our virtual machine now. Let's open the Disk Usage Analyzer again. And it seems like nothing changed. We still have 4.2 GB available. Let's open the Disks Utility. And over here, we can see that the disk has changed, and its size is now 27 gigabytes. But as you can see, this new space was not added to our partition, and it's just sitting there as free space. The thing is that if we choose our partition and try to resize it, and of course I want to use all of that free space, it fails, it doesn't work. So we need to find some other solution. So let's turn off the virtual machine again. But this time I want to start the virtual machine with a live session. To do that, we're going to use the ISO file we used to install Ubuntu in the first place. So once again, the relevant section is storage and we want to choose the file for the optical drive. And here I'm going to choose the Ubuntu ISO installation file. Using this file, we can either reinstall Ubuntu or start a live session. So let's start the virtual machine once again. And let's choose try or install Ubuntu. But of course we don't want to install Ubuntu only to start a live session, so I'm going to choose try Ubuntu. And here we're going to start Gparted which is a graphical interface to the partition editor. And as soon as we start Gparted, we get this warning that says that not all of the space available to our device appears to be used. Now, Gparted can help us fix the problem, so let's choose Fix. And now we will be able to resize our partition. So let's choose our partition and let's right click on it. And I'm going to choose Resize Move. Now I'm going to drag the slider all the way to the right, so we'll have no unused free space and our partition will grow as much as possible. Let's click on Resize Move again. And now we need to apply the operation by clicking on the green icon. And we need to click on Apply. Great, so that's done. Let's close Gparted and turn off our live session. We now need to make sure that the ISO file was removed from the optical drive. And as we can see here, it was removed as it is empty. So let's start our virtual machine once again. And if we run the disk usage analyzer now, we can see that we now have 14.8 gigabytes available, which means that all of the new space we allocated is available to use.